What's up guys, Roll Friends today, I'm going to be with a new Call of Duty Black Ops for Information video and today's video we'll be taking a look at the potential return of Nuketown in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So this was actually teased, teased quite a while back on David Von Der Haar's Twitter. A lot of people have been saying that this map is going to come back. Of course, it's been back in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. So there's no reason why it shouldn't return in Black Ops 3. It's been an absolute fan favourite map for the years it has been out. Everyone loves the map New Town. It's a great bit of gameplay to have on there. Absolutely amazing. So much fun. You can get absolutely amazing gameplays on there. It's just the best map that I personally have seen in Call of Duty history. So, of course, everyone wants this map to return, and this guy called We Love Rob Dyrick on Twitter tweeted out saying "Gone but never forgotten" with a pitch uh, of Nuketown on the uh, on his tweet, and then David Von Der Hart replies with "Says who?" So, of course, David Von Der Hart is teasing here and Nuketown returning within Black Ops 3. And of course, this could just be a troll. Of course, David Von Der Hart has trolled us before in many ways in the Call of Duty's previously releases from Treyarch. But I'm hedging towards that Nuketown is going to be within the game Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I hope it is. This map is absolutely amazing but of course with the installment of the thrust jumps and stuff like that the map would be too small and not built around the thrust jumps for it to be in the game. So, my friend on Twitter, Long Sensation, actually tweeted out this picture a while ago, and I sort of had the same mindset as he does. So, this I'm going to show on the screen now is what potentially could be the new Nuketown map for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So, of course, you're extending the map out sideways. Of course, A would be your A domination point, B being your B domination point, and C being your C domination point. Then you'd have each end of the spawn, so A and C being where you'd spawn, and of course, if you have the extension of the house building on the end, to have the uh, teammate spawn there and also extend the building on the A spawn to a double story building then of course you can have some amazing sniper overwatches and just absolutely awesome stuff you've also got the free lane system which Call of Duty are implementing into their game and try to do that the best their maps are absolutely amazing for esports just because of this free lane system is so easily done for them and it's absolutely amazing to see of course they might modify the buildings that we haven't had access to before um, make it so you can't go in them or something like that but I really do think if they did make Newtown this sort of length and this uh, the, 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 the design for Newtown in this way I think it would be absolutely amazing and make the game so so cool so of course they'd have to cut off the spawns on the right and left hand side that are the Newtown spawns in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 just because otherwise that would be an unfair advantage for A side but then of course they might add it onto C side we're not too sure yet I doubt they might do this idea I think it's a very very good idea that will obviously benefit the thrust jumps and allow you to have a lot better movement around the map they might add some new stuff in change buildings around like I said I do not know but like I said guys this would be absolutely amazing thanks long sensation for putting this image out I couldn't have done it myself so that's absolutely amazing for him thank you so much for uh, you put in simmer chat like I said already guys but anyway guys thanks so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to hit like one down below subscribe for more daily Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news if you do want new time to return let me know that down in the comment section down below and also by giving me a thumbs up on this video like I said guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video